<laughs> totes reds. Soups totes? Soups totes reds. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to the Josh and Melissa. I'm Josh. And I'm Melissa. And together we make the, the Josh, Josh and, and Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> no one thinks that's funny except us, huh? Definitely not. There are a few things that we have noticed. Good, bad, ugly. No! Oh. So we wanted to share with you guys some of those differences. Between the US and New Zealand. Let's get into it. Bring! Bring. Which way are they gonna go? Alright, so the first thing I noticed, which I noticed immediately, like as soon as we got into the airport in Auckland, was the toilets. The flushers are different. So in the US, we just have one handle. But in New Zealand, they have two different buttons. There's always a smaller one and a bigger one. I think I figured it out. I think the small one is for when you go number one, and the bigger one is for when you go number two, which is smart. Water conservation. We should think of that more. Mailboxes here. They're like somebody took a straw and just inflated them. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a US mailbox. Relatively small and just like straight lines. But then the New Zealand mailbox, everything is just kind of like... It's cute! Yeah, they look like little marshmallow mailboxes yeah. or something. So, another weird thing is the outlets here. In the US, outlets are just on. You plug something in and it's an then it's charging. It's just an outlet. Here, they have a little light switch next to the outlet. You have to plug in the thing, but then it may still not be charging. So then you have to turn on the switch. Which is bad sometimes because sometimes you maybe plug your laptop in in the morning trying to get it to charge so you can use it later, but you forget to turn on the switch and then no power. Next! <laughs> Hiking. New Zealand has so many beautiful hikes. However, they are not called hikes here. They are called either walks or tramps. And honestly, I feel like I'm lying to myself. Maybe New Zealanders are just really fit and no, we are just not. I think dryers, we've found out, are just kind of a North American thing because there are no dryers here for the most part. It takes so long to hang things up on a clothesline and then, because New Zealand weather changes in like two seconds, it could be a nice day. So you run out and do laundry and then try to get your clothes up on the line and then all of a sudden downpour and they're wetter than they started. So. The first house we stayed at was um, not centrally heated. It's so cold. And we were, I think part of the problem too is we were here in the winter, crank the logs in the fire, um, and then we just spent our nights like huddled around the fire because we were so cold. <laughs> Kiwis love to crack jokes. They, they're just all real funny people, at least that we've encountered. They love making fun of you and they love cracking the jokes. Even if no one else is laughing, they laugh. And it's, it's hilarious. There aren't really any mammals that are native to New Zealand. There are some mammals here now, like sheep. Just tons of birds are native to New Zealand. And I think because of that, Kiwis love birds. Everyone here is like a birder, you could say. And it's rubbing off on me, because now I notice all these birds, I'm like, oh, they're yeah, the bird. they're the birds. eating breakfast and just like, wow, look at that bird, look at that bird. So what? Since when are you into birds? Are cool. This one is strange and it still shocks me, even though like I know it's a thing. People don't wear shoes in public. It is so strange to me. I don't understand it. Also, it's weird because oftentimes they're not even barefoot. They're like in big wool socks, like wandering through the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I can figure out is maybe they've been working on the farm, so their gumboots are dirty and they didn't feel like putting on other shoes. To add on to the no shoes, we've also noticed really short shorts in the winter. Maybe if you're cold, but put some shoes and pants on. <laughs> you're welcome. Oil changes are incredibly expensive here. In the US, that would cost like 40 bucks maybe. In New Zealand, we paid over 200. Don't understand Why? it. <laughs> Moving to New Zealand, I'm super glad I know how to change the oil because it costs so much money that now I'll just do it myself. This is something that is confusing to me. The best thing that I've noticed about Kiwis is that they're very relaxed and chill and easygoing. However, also the worst thing that I've noticed about Kiwis is that they are very relaxed and chill and easygoing. 
Now, in normal life, that's great. Love it, great attitude towards life. However, in professional life, not so great. We notice this a lot. Whenever we're trying to get an appointment or anything done, it's not a quick process. It does eventually happen, and people are always very nice, but it takes a long time. Yep. Eggs. We've been having a lot of eggs in New Zealand. First of all, no one keeps their eggs in the fridge here. Uh -uh. Uh, but also, the yolks on eggs are like super brightly colored here. In the US, they're kind of like a pale yellow. Here, they're like real bright yolks, so. All right, another thing I've noticed, which is good and bad, there is a lot less to choose from. So in the US, if you go to the store, you have a lot of choices, even shampoo. You have an entire row of shampoo choices. In New Zealand, you don't. It makes it faster eventually to go grocery shopping and like run errands and stuff because there's less to choose from, so you just grab it. But it also, at the beginning, makes it a lot slower because you're not used to only being able to choose from five. They have super good coffee in New Zealand. <laughs> I didn't even like coffee in the US, and now I drink coffee every day. So they have this little creature here called a sandfly, and. So cute, so small. Another name for sandflies is Lucifer. Sandflies are the worst. <laughs> sandflies always bite you on the feet and ankles. They itch so bad. It's like a mosquito bite on steroids. They wake me up at night because they itch so bad. It's awful. I used to really not like road trips. Like, I've never been someone that just enjoys sitting in a car and driving for a long period of time. In New Zealand, I don't mind it because it is so beautiful. But the roads are so small and so windy. I get car sick decently easy, and so that's not, it's not a fun time on my stomach. <laughs> at least it's pretty to look at. So here's something. We are vegetarians by night um, because... We aren't actually vegetarians. No. But meat is so expensive here. The moral of the story is eating meat is a rich man's game. And last, but certainly not least, phone plans and internet. Internet and phone plans are not unlimited. It's not the norm. In the US, phone plans always have an option for unlimited data. Here, I don't even know if it's an option to have unlimited on your phone. Internet in your home is always unlimited. You just pay per month and you can use however much internet you want. In New Zealand, that's like a luxury to have unlimited internet for the month. Most people pay for a certain chunk and then if you use that all up, you're done for. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed hearing the different things that we've discovered about New Zealand and the US. If you guys have any other things, if you guys have been to the US or New Zealand, comment down below. Let us know differences that you have noticed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time. Josh and Melissa out. What? Out. <laughs>